it seemed like you were pretty close with Justin as well, like friends. As I'm like walking around this massive warehouse, I see like a bunch of photos with you. Like, looks like you're traveling with Justin, hanging out with him. Yeah, we ended up being um, very, very close friends as well. Um, yeah, we, you know, I mean, there's a yeah, twelve or thirteen year age difference, I think, um, maybe more. But uh, but we ended up becoming like just really good, good friends. Like I think like it's like a big brother, little brother relationship. Um, you know, he, he's an older brother, but he's the oldest. So like, I think like I was kind of like the older brother to him. So it was more like buddy, buddy relationship. There were, there were, yeah, there were times like we would go to Fiji, you know, for the weekend or I don't know, uh, we went to France, we went to Dubai, uh, we went to Oktoberfest and not in Germany. It was always like, when we go, it was like, we would spend three, four, five days together and not talk a word of business and just talk life, you know? So it was like a big brother, little brother relationship. I wonder what is it like to travel with Justin? Because I imagine he like can't yeah, like, was, be out in public whatsoever. Like Oktoberfest. How do you how do you manage that? Like getting him through that? Oktoberfest, I think he walked in, no mask, no security. It was me, him, his dad, Jeremy, and his dad, his, his uh, Jeremy's friend uh, Andy. And um, that one was like there was no security. It was just the four of us walking around Oktoberfest, and I think people like were like. That guy looks like Justin Bieber. There's no chance. Like, like people were so really? shocked that like people just didn't really think it was him. No mask, no sunglasses. Like it was at night, but still like, and I think people are so wasted that I think people are just like, fuck, I think I'm fucking drunk because Justin Bieber just walking around here. <laughs> like, but, and I think that no. He did get approached though. There were some people that come up to him. Yeah, there would be some people that come up to him. But um, actually, I think there's a video online Fuck, I forgot about this. Uh, I don't know how you look it up, but um, you guys do that when you show a we'll video? Find it. Yeah, yeah. Like you see a guy actually just started, tried to start a fight with Justin out of nowhere. He's wasted. And I went and I just fucking took the guy down. Like, yeah, oh. yeah, there's a video online somewhere. Um, oh. Yeah. How would he walk around without security? No security. But why? Isn't that dangerous for him? It's just Dude, he just, a whole bunch Justin of doesn't give a shit, man. He just likes to be normal. Yeah. Like, he doesn't, you know. Yeah, I mean, his house has security, like if, you know, his tours have security, but sometimes he just wants to do normal things, you know? There were, there were times like, he's always lived in LA, but he would just drive down by himself to my parents' house and just like hang out. There were times my mom would call me. She's like, where are you at? I was like, um, home, why? She's like, well, Justin's here. If you want to come over, we just order pizza. And like he would just like go to my parents' house randomly and just like order pizza and uh, just hang out with my parents and eat pistachios and watch TV. Like he just loves normal, normal things. I would imagine that that sounds nice after growing up like in this spotlight to the nth degree, right? With yeah. such intensity since he was just like a little kid, yeah. right? Like his, that, that's probably glamorized to him in yeah. the same way that being so famous that you can't show up anywhere is glamorized to, you know, Yeah, it's a breath of fresh air people. for sure. Yeah. Yeah.